Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, it is summer in California right now and that means vacation. So if you're going on vacation, you might need one of these, a duct tape luggage tag. I'm gonna show you how to make one right now. So for this project, I'm actually gonna be using an end of the roll strip. Now, if you don't know what an end of the roll strip is, what it is is when you get to the end of your duct tape, you end up with this strip that has the paper backing on it. And that's what I'm gonna be using for this project. Now, here's the deal. If you don't have an end of the roll strip, you can just use a regular strip and it's totally fine. You're gonna be doing exactly the same thing. It just will seal itself. I'm gonna be needing scissors, a ruler, a work surface, a pen. I'm gonna be using my X-Acto knife, duct tape, and this is one of those presentation folders. This is going to be my plastic front so that you can see through. If you don't have that, you can always use clear packing tape. Just take two pieces, fold them onto themselves, and that makes a great window as well. So to start, the first thing I'm going to do is measure a little piece of this that is seven inches. So I'm going to measure this right here, and I'm just going to Put a little mark there, and cut it right there like that. The next thing I'm going to do is take a strip of tape that's about 13 inches long. I'm going to cut this piece into three. So first thing I'm going to do is go right down the middle so that I end up with two strips that are one inches long, and then on one of the sides, I'm going to cut down the middle so that I end up with two strips that are each one half inch wide. The strip that is one inch long, I'm going to pick up and flip over so that it is sticky side up. Now before you ask, this pattern came from the dollar store. It's not a duct brand. Okay, now what I'm going to do is fold this up one third and smooth it down. Then I'm going to take the top part and fold it over. This is making the strap. I'm setting two, two pieces aside. These are just little one inch strips because what I'm going to do next is take my seven inch end of the roll piece and I'm going to lay my strap right down the middle. As you can see, I've got plenty of space all around and I'm going to take one piece of tape, secure it here, and this other piece of tape and secure it here. And now just for a little extra security, I'm going to take one of these little pieces of tape here and tape the top here to make sure it's nice and secured. And I'm going to cut that little bit of extra off right there. Now what I'm going to do is fold this up in half. And the reason I have these strips of tape pre-cut is so that it makes it quicker and easier for me just to pick them up and use them. So first thing I'm going to do is seal this end. So as you can see, I've got that in the center there. I'm sealing this end over top. I'm going to take my piece of tape and I'm doing the half on, half off technique, lining it up with my strap. Half on, half off. I'm going to cut off this extra so that I can fold it over and seal it right there. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Half on, half off. Get rid of the little extra and seal it. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to use my presentation cover now. And all I'm going to do is take a little piece of this. As you can see, I've used this many times before. You can get a lot out of one of these. Just going to line it up on here and make a little mark here. And then I'm going to cut up and around with my scissors here. Just one straight cut here, and one straight cut here. I'm 
and then just make sure that it's the right size. If it's a little big or a little small, I can trim. This is actually pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do next is put an edger on this plastic, and that's so that I can easily take my ID in and out. So I'm just going to measure. Don't need too much here. Just enough to go up and over the top. Again, half on, half off. Fold it over onto itself so that I've sealed that onto the plastic. You can see it's got a little, couple little ears on here right now. Just leave these ears for right now because these are going to be a marker for you as you put this all down. Now what I'm going to do is do the half on, half off technique all the way around the plastic. I'm lining it right up underneath those ears. That's why I'm keeping the ears. Half on, half off. Cut off the extra. On the opposite side, half on, half off. Cut off the extra. And you just need a strip for the bottom. And again, you're doing half on, half off. You're going to line it up in between. Don't go over these edges here. Line it up. You just want it to be half on, half off, right in between here. You cut that little bit of extra off very carefully by keeping the tape up and just sawing it off there. Okay, this is what it should look like when you're all done. See how you've got sticky, sticky, sticky? Now you just take this, line it up with your red backer, and fold over the edges. One, two, and three. Now, like I told you, the reason you leave this here is so that you can easily get your ID in and out. Now it's time we can trim off these little ears. We don't need those anymore. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to make a tongue closure on the back so that you can take this off and put it back on again if you wanted to, to transfer from one piece of luggage to the next. However, if you want to, all you have to do is slide this through and duct tape the living daylights out of it if you just want to leave it so that it's always like that. But in this case, what I'm going to do is create a backer that you can take it on and take it off with. I'm going to give myself plenty of room, and what I'm going to do is go up and over with this piece. And I'm going to cut off about, what is that, about two inches there. And this I'm going to cut into half so that I have two one-half pieces. And then what I'm going to do is take my strap and fold it over and put these little pieces on either side of it. I'm going to take a little piece of tape. Now the one thing I want to make sure I do hope you can see this here. The one thing I want to make sure to do is leave enough space for my strap to slide through easily. So there's one going on the edges out here. There we go. So see how, see how that goes up and down there? Okay, now we're going to take a second one and put that underneath it. And again, tape it, and get a little bit more tape, tape it on the opposite side, so that I now have almost like a ladder, see, and then this can go up and down, depending on how big the uh, item is, that the handle is that I'm hooking this around. But here's why you've done two. So you can take the first one, you slide it down through the two, like that, then you bring it back around the bottom and through the top. And doing that locks it into place. So see, it's not going to go anywhere. See that? Now it's not going to go anywhere. And I can come back. I've got a little extra tape here, and I'm just going to come back with my extra bit of tape here and pretty it up and also add just an extra layer of security on the sides there. There we go. And I can add as much tape on the back here as I'd like to, but that is my lock system right there. There you have it.
your luggage tag. Now all I need to do is put my name and information, just slide it on in there, and I am set to go traveling around the world. Now, make sure if you like this to give us a thumbs up. And also, if you want to find more ideas like this, check out my book. It should be in your local library, or you can get it at Amazon.com. And that is Sticky Fingers DIY Duct Tape Projects. And it's by Sophie Maletsky. And you can find it on Amazon and probably at your local library. For more great ideas, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.